I don't know why I feel like making this video, but I do. For those of you that don't know who I am, my name is Emil Torrey. I'm a filmmaker and content creator here in Los Angeles. This is not about me being a filmmaker. This is about me being transparent of what life is like here in Los Angeles. Many of you may see those of us who are content creators, who are actors, directors, those of you that don't live in Los Angeles and think we have a great life. We live in sunny Los Angeles. We drive luxury cars. We work in entertainment. We have fun times, this and that. If you take all of what I posted on all platforms to date and put them together, you have maybe what, an hour and a half of my life that you've seen spread out in 60 second increments. Those of you that are married and happy or those of you that are parents and have kids or have a job that you like or career that you like gratitude is the only thing i can offer you the old gratitude is the only thing i can say that you should cling on to because while you see the fun the slivers of moments here in los angeles what you don't see is the struggle the mental breaks you don't see that i go to bed every single night with tears in my eyes you don't see the fact that i have i've had to accept help from family because it's so hard to make money out here you don't see the pain that i go through every single day because the person i love who i have an unbelievably and to some unrealistic history with the person who holds my heart and I love her with every particle doesn't want anything to do with me and I'm pretty sure she hates me and I don't know why I have no way of finding out that's the part you don't see on social media so if you have someone in your life that you love that loves you back and you know it's real that in of itself is a miracle you should cling on to that and practice gratitude if you have kids that are happy if you have a home that you're safe in those are all points of blessings that you should be grateful for. I've held an Oscar in my hand. It means nothing to me. No matter what project I do, creative or otherwise, moving forward is not going to be as meaningful and as special as what I'm doing right now and helping my sister build her YouTube channel, build her makeup line, shoot her videos and her events that she has once a month. That to me means more than the time I held an Oscar in my hand. And two Emmys. They meant nothing to me. After three minutes, they were just heavy pieces of metal. It still doesn't mean anything to me. I'm more grateful now being able to do creative things with family and, and her best friend who's a hilarious person that means more to me than winning awards and more so if the love of my life the person who holds my heart she knows she does if she walked into my life right now she would never ask me to trade my career but that's how much she means i would give it all up because at the end of the day at the end of our life what matters to me most is how i treated people whether people rem remember me as a good person or as a person who hurt people and the only thing that matters to me are the times that i get to spend with the, the people i love my dog my family if i had any control the person who holds my heart so at 45, still figuring things out, still struggling to make whatever I want come together. The one thing that I've learned, the one truth is that that gratitude gets me through everything. Gratitude will get you through everything. Every single day I put my feet on the ground. The only thing I say is I thank you God for another day. Beyond that, I have no control over anything. Everything is in God's hands. I surrender. Beyond that, you know, I talk every single day and I say, this is the person I want to be with. This is what I want to do. This is, you know, those parts, those moments you don't see on social media. So before any kind of envy or jealousy, or I don't know what people think goes on here in Los Angeles, I want you to sit down and look at the people that are in your life that you love. Even if you're outside of Los Angeles, even if you're in small town America, the amount of blessings that you have in many ways, sometimes make me jealous of your life in small town America, to have stability, to have family, to have this, to have that. And yet I wouldn't give it up right now because my career is so important to me, but at the same time, is it? Am I sacrificing? These are things that you don't see on social media. This is the truth about being an artist. The truth behind the camera. You see what we choose to let you see after the makeup, after the lights go on, after we're polished, after we're edited and colored, after cool zoom transitions, graphics, when the lights go off and the makeup comes off and we have to go back to our space, some of us alone, we don't record that because we think that that's not what people want and yet that's real life. That's what it means to be creative. In my experience, I feel more highs and lows and love doesn't always need to make sense. It makes sense to me and it's completely irrational to anybody else. Love doesn't need to make sense. The way you love yourself doesn't need to make sense. But what is hard for many, like climbing Mount Everest, for some, self-loving is just as hard. And you don't see that part on social media either. <clears throat> Practice 
love, self-love, be kind to yourself, give yourself a break, be humble, because I'm no better than anybody else. I have nothing figured out. The only thing I figured out is I know who I love, I know who I wanna be with, I know who I wanna be, I know what I wanna be, and I know that kindness and love matter more than anything else. Beyond that, I have nothing figured out. So if you're in small town America, if you're in a different country, you can breathe, that's a blessing. Don't be jealous or envious of anything you see on social media. It's a show. This is real life, and I believe in transparency, and I don't believe in putting on shows. So anyway, Self-love is the most important thing. I hope one day, <clears throat> I hope one day that I get to sit down with the person who holds my heart and we get to look back at these days and laugh. But if that doesn't happen, I will be okay with living a life where at least I knew I tried. And that's a lot more than just quitting from the onset. So don't quit on whatever you want. Don't quit on whoever you want. Don't quit on your dreams. Just love yourself. Give yourself grace. Be kind to yourself. Beyond that, surrender and know that everything else is in the higher source, is in the higher hands of God or whoever you believe in. And if you don't believe in anyone, then I'm sorry. That makes me sad because there's a there's a very loving source up there that loves you very much. And I know that to be true. Anyway, what it's worth, I hope it means something to someone.